Competition to redevelop a sprawling 70-acre naval property in the Midway District is underway. Welcome back. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Marcella Lee. This comes after the Navy offered the prime real estate in exchange for brand new cyber warfare facilities. Now, some elected officials and community leaders are pushing to use part of this site to address San Diego's affordable housing crisis. CBS H Richard Allen has more on how the Navy is responding and the future of the project. It is one of the biggest public-private ventures, I think, so far in the state. It is definitely the largest the Navy's attempted so far. What was once home to a military aircraft factory dating back to World War II now houses the Navy's cutting-edge cyber warfare command, often called NAVWAR. But this highly critical military resource could eventually have some new neighbors. Last year, the Navy put its naval base Point Loma Old Town campus on the market, offering the land for in-kind consideration. We have a Caitlin Ostemel is a spokesperson for the Navy. The goal is to get Naval Information Warfare Systems Command, NAVWAR, a new facility. That is the Navy's primary objective. In exchange for 1.43 million square feet of new facilities to keep its critical military operations going, the rest of the property would be transferred through a 99-year lease, available to create new housing, retail, hotel, and office space, possibly including a transit center. Potentially, this would be one of the biggest developments around. Congressman Scott Peters would like to see part of this sprawling redevelopment provide affordable housing units. Housing dedicated specifically for military folks, which in effect will be a affordable housing because it'll be rent restricted on behalf of those um, those Marines and sailors. He penned this letter to the Navy, co-signed by other local congressional leaders, urging naval leadership to consider this idea. So wouldn't this be great to take some of this property and dedicate it to those Marines and sailors so that they have a better shot at a comfortable place to live while they're serving serving their country while stationed in San Diego. While the Navy says at this early phase of the project, the specific types of development have not yet been decided, the Navy had earlier identified a preferred alternative that could include housing. We could potentially support up to 10,000 housing units, at least in terms of the environmental analysis that's been done so far. I think it's just common sense that we do this. Ricardo Flores is executive director of Local Initiatives Support Corporation, a nonprofit bank that supports affordable housing. If we're looking at a public asset of land that we all own, we should definitely consider putting affordable housing on that. Flores envisions part of this development as housing for those who have already served our country, homeless veterans. I think it's a huge opportunity. Uh, and I think the public ultimately says public land, public issues, put them together and solve a problem. It's really just too early in, in the project to say, oh, a certain percentage of that would be one kind of housing or another kind of housing. The Navy says that at this point, all options remain on the table, even the possibility of using taxpayer dollars to build new facilities for NAVWAR. But as this public-private development alternative continues to move forward, Ostemel says that the public will have plenty of opportunity to provide input. The idea is that we want everyone to know what we're doing. This is federal land, it's owned by the, the community. Uh, it's owned by the public, so everyone should know what the plan is. And the Navy expects to narrow down its list of qualified developers to the top three or so by early April. A final decision on a developer could be made by early next year.